So, welcome to episode one of Fully Posable. Um, I'm Big J. I'm Big White. And we're going to be reviewing a few little figures which we find pretty cool. One which we don't find cool at all. In fact, we find pretty goddamn poor. It's blender worthy. It's going in the offender blender, um, which will be later in, in the series. I think you'll enjoy it. Mm. We certainly did. Um, first of all, um, here we're big fun- Funko fans. Um, you could call us Popaholics. I've just made that up. I don't care. Um, this week, what we've received is the limited edition Dancing Groot. Now, this isn't just the normal Dancing Groot, as that's the normal Dancing Groot. Yay! This is the Ravager Groot, as you can see. He's got the Ravager part. Ooh! For all purposes, he's still the same Groot, just a yeah, different Yeah, it, it's literally exactly the same Exactly the same figure, just a different pop, but still so cool, so collectible. Um, we've got loads of Funkers on, on the way to us. Um, we'll do the best review, everyone, basically. Um, yeah. Massively collectible. Love these. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Big White, what have you got for us? Well, I've got one of my favourites here. It's the Armoured Batman from the Play Art series. Absolutely love this figure. Uh, recently taken him out of the box. It's so cool. Yeah, man. I love the cape. The detail on it is phenomenal. Obviously, you can either have it as a double uh, spread out, or you can have it as a single cape. I like the uh, the double cape. What? So, what's this one actually been seen in? Is this? Off this the... is the Arkham uh, game series. Right. So you know, so there's with the the dual cape there. Makes it easier for when you do display it as well. Because uh, these are wait, seriously cool and yeah, play art figures are phenomenal. Really, really amazing box. Yeah. Some nice foil effects on it by Play Arts. Yeah, um, tells you a few more of the see if you can get the oh so sexy Harley Quinn mm-hmm. in a little near set fit. <laughs> yeah. So with this one, you've got a lot of articulation with the hands, the arms, the head. Everything is fully posable. Yeah. We've got a lot of articulation with this bad boy. Comes with some kick ass little accessories, as you can see. Batarangs, spare hands. It's even got the grapple gun. Yeah. That's so sweet. It's got everything there. We saw some of that as well. Yeah. This is a. Uh, it is a really sweet figure, and just the actual. <coughs> the weight This is like well. a proper sturdy figure. Um, if you if you go back to the 80s and you think about like the Masters Universe figures and like the big Thundercats figures. This is like on the same sort of scale. Um, I don't know what what is this like one eighth scale? It's a it's not quite you. It's quite a hefty figure. These are. Um, it's got some serious weight to it. Serious weight, yeah. Proper definitely collector's for, piece. Yeah, um, definitely for display. But e- even on the back, um, I don't think you can see there. Even the little back belt is totally painted. Even the it's actually even accessible. Um, but such such a kick ass figure. Really a sweet. Yes. You're quite pleased that one, aren't you? Oh, dude? God, yeah, absolutely. These fetch, what, up to 60 quid to buy. Um, I managed to get this as a right good bargain on eBay. And as I say, this is the first time it's come out of the box. I was kind of gutted when I opened the box, but I aren't anymore. Groups yeah. growing. <laughs> and uh, I believe you have some for us yeah, now. Yeah, again, um, a mega sweet figure. I am so over the moon to get this. Um, got this through the post the other day. Um, it is the Master of the Universe Classics Standor figure. <coughs> now, it isn't just a normal name with or on the end like most of the Master of the Universe figures. This is the Messiah, Sir Stanley. We're not worried. Just, he, this figure is basically just a total, what's the word, tribute to Sir Stan. Um, as you can see, Standor the cosmic creator of power. Um, it really is such a ledge figure. Um, paint works amazing. He's got like a sort of metallic f- effect. Um, he's got removable glasses, removable helmet. Um, so it looks like Stanley. It proper looks like Stanley on steroids for about five years. For me, this is one of the best things Metal have made in years. What? Well, yeah, and and the Ghostbusters line. Yeah, but but this is truly amazing. Yeah, don't forget with these figures, you these aren't kids' toys really. Um, you're looking at a retail price of about thirty five quid. Um, Stan is severely limited. Um, you will not put that up now for less than thirty five forty. Mm. Um, if you do, if you see it, I would snatch it up. Um, I will be aiming to get this signed at some point across this crotch area. 
with that beautiful little Stanley signature. Um, but amazing figure. Nice little decor on the back. I'm not going to read all that to you. I'll just put it there so you can pause it and read it. Proper amazing figure. Um, well worth the money. Well worth the Mega money. thumbs up. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Oh, we'll just double <laughs> thumbs, are we? Right, then. we were on about how we've got one figure that isn't so great. Mm. It's a bit of a shame, really. It is. It because is. the film was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, now, this is the Baymax um, figure from Big Hero 6. <laughs> wow. Uh, and as you can see, I, yeah. I don't really need to say a lot more about this figure. Um, but no, I don't know whether you, uh, many of you know about the film. Um, the film was based on a comic book by Marvel. Mm -hmm. um, Disney produced a lot of it, um, obviously. All of it, actually. Yeah. Obviously, all of it. So, um, right now. So, they've released a good range of figures. Um, and some not so good. And some not so good. Um, as normal, they've released a whole range of pop, which are amazing. Um, they will be reviewed at some point in the near the future. Big Max pops that we the, saw. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. But this one is just... <sighs> it is just awful. Um Literally, so you don't even have to touch anything on it. Just it just falls apart, and it's a shame. It really is. It, it, it's, a, it's actually one of these figures that annoys you so much. Um, literally, someone I think someone farted in the lounge of the day and it was on the shelf, and it fell off. <laughs> and when this thing falls apart, it literally just goes. <laughs> um, it is. It is just so weak, and the best part of it, to be honest with you, is the actual Baymax. The Baymax is. inside. He is cool. He is cool, but I don't know whether you can see, even he is actually starting to come apart. Yeah. Um, just a really, really piss poor figure. Mm. Um, a fender blender when we get it that. It will be getting the fender blender. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. But yeah, um, sorry to. End the show on a bad note. Blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, weak figure. Um, don't buy unless you, you want to. You want to be doing the resuscitation on your child because he's choking on Baymax is nuts. <laughs> um, anyway, for this week, I've been Big J. I've been Big White, and uh, this has been fully bearable. Peace. <laughs>